you really believe your own hype that much? I am the hype! Hello and welcome back to the Drop Zone. And we start off tonight with a bit of an interesting one because a lot of people in the comment section last week went, Why are you not doing the, the YouTube? Fighty fights, and it's like the, it's too they close to out. home. It's too close to like home. They, they weren't out whenever we did the review. So um, we're, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to start off each of these videos by talking about the preceding YouTube exclusive fight, which I think is a is a very very good idea. It's great that they're putting them up on YouTube, and they're not those do those unaired fights that we got a couple of seasons ago where it was I mean, just hold raw for, audio and forever. Like, and then eventually after about yeah, what's ended, it's basement all basement tips. Is it basement tips? It's yeah, called it was basement, basement tips. tips. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's it's nice that they're actually going. Oh, there's a little little bit of BattleBots bonus for you. Like the it's a fight that wasn't great enough to be considered episode worthy. But it's still here. But you know we're gonna stick it online anyway for you. And the first of these was Jackpot versus Deadly. Spinnies. Oh, Ooh, so slow to spin up there. This one was kind of it's it's what you would call in football terms. It's a game of two halves. Mm -hmm. You know, like, well, the first half, it was Jackpot going, uh, can't really find a way in here, can't really attack. I mean, like, they were kind of, like, chewing up the front of Deadlift a little bit. They, yeah, they were, like, like in fairness to Deadlift, like, they've come back with this, like, tank. It's a beast. They, there was no getting into the internal parts of it. It was just, like, they were just taking divots out of the, the side armor. I did like what Jackpot was planning. It was like, okay, side armors aren't uh, working. That's just go for right for the ply and keep hitting and hitting and hitting. That's the thing, Deadlift has to Fire! keep the front to it. Which they did, and then they've dented it down to the floor. We know what happens with wedges when they're not yeah, they go makes, against makes you. Yeah, robot high center. Yeah, then then the minibot came into play. Yeah, little uh, little tracers, minibot ace. Yes. Yeah, with the little slide by slidey fork things, which I thought was a really good idea last series. It's nice to see him back. Uh, on a team which has a robot that has a fucking tree mech. Maybe he gets so tree you know mech what? I'll automatically, you get the victory points there. You get the moral victory for that one. Oh, look, the mini bot's doing something. <laughs> I'm lifting <laughs> you, bro. I'm help. I'm impressed with this to lift a heavyweight robot. I didn't expect it to actually boom. It's caught it. It's high standard. I think the forks jam. See the forks? Yeah, yeah. I think they're jamming up the, the wheels. Or jamming it from going... No, I see it's Yeah, hitting. yeah. With Jackpot's weapon, it, it doesn't look like it's got that bite. It doesn't look like it's got that reach to it. Even though, like they've said, that oh, it actually spins down below the chassis now. It spins, like, just... You know where the, yeah. uh, where the wheels touch the ground? It's literally like a millimetre before that. That's I where the weapon know, is. Man, by the, ta the, the way they were taking whelps out of the side of it. If if Deadlift had been more or less armoured, I'd say we would have seen a lot more damage. Like big Yeah, big chunks stuck of it. out of it. Yeah. It's just the fact is it's it's come up against something like equal its measure. You it, know? It's also like the angles when you think about it too. Because like any spinner, no matter how it's shaped. And yeah, Jackpot got their little diamond motif and that's cool. But it's a circle. Mm. And it's because Deadlift's... Uh, front ply is designed at such an angle. It's just kind of like skipping off of it. It's yeah. not, it doesn't really have any good biting points to take like proper chunks out of it. I will say that I was very impressed with the weapon. I thought that when Deadlift had hit it against the screws, that's the dead weapon. Yeah, dead. because like we saw last series, because it's got the two little diamonds in parallel, mm. and in some of its fights, it was coming out like a windmill. You know, like it yeah. was bent at one side. So yeah, it's you can tell this is a machine that no longer costs four grand. No, like the, no there's, this, a, there's a lot more they're time. The, they're the big boys now. Like. Money invested into this. They've got a better looking Sri Mac too. I like the little wedge that's, which did kind of screw them over for the start of the fight. Ah, uh, yeah, they're fucked now. See, I like what Jackpot did whenever they were getting Don't lift your weapon up. Hell. Don't lift the weapon up. I like what Jackpot did when they were getting high centered. The gyro, they used the gyro. Yeah. To like get away. Mm, they kept getting stuck and then falling down, and then when they like. There's moments when Jackpot is like, right, I'm on my wheels, I can actually drive now, and then hits the floor, hits the corner, and it's struggling again. Deadlift getting the wheels tore up at the back, those exposed wheels. I, I, could, I could, with Deadlift, it's all about keep them at the front and lift them, but they've, they've got the little tires and stuff. For a use of Jackpot, they were like, we need to numb those. We need to take those now. Take those down uh, now. They, I mean, like, the, the, the fight kind of ended with Deadlift dead. That went to the judges. 
That shouldn't have went for the judge. That should have been just jackpot. The uh, headlift was still moving. However, the wheels were completely destroyed. Yeah, but it wasn't moving outside of its own circumference. No, no, it was. You know, it's so like was, surely that's a time to count it out now. So I, I guess that maybe happened just too late in the game for the referees to get involved. Because I know, like, it, it happened right at the front. You know, where the, the drivers are, so it's harder for the referees to see what's going on. But it just for a long time, it felt like the headlift was was just stopped. Just right there. I think probably yeah. I'd say it's a mixture of the of that and the fact that the, the you know the ref and the confusion. Maybe he's going, "Are you still functional?" They're going, "Yes, we are. We're, we're still functioning." Yeah. And I mean, it, it, to sum it up, because we don't want to take too long talking about the the YouTube fights, but like, I would say it was a very basic fight. I can see why they didn't include it in an episode. I can see why these two are put together because they have a little history where like yeah, and the you know, dead li- deadlift beat uh, jackpots so there was a little bit of redemption yeah, fight for, going for on jackpot, yeah. and it was it was it was good it was, it, it it was had, good it, it I mean, don't, good moments. don't get me wrong like there's there's nothing offensive or horrible about no, the fight no, no. it's just classic robot fighting yeah, it was, you know, like you know? that, that's literally all it was so i can see what it was removed from the episode but a decent enough fight i don't think it's the debut that either of these machines wanted to have there I, I was think a couple of sluggishy moments where yeah. yeah like i this is definitely the bad name there's a couple little bugs that are night but not a lot not a lot, you know. It was, it was an entertaining fight. I enjoyed it. Fair enough. And with that, it's episode two time. <coughs> beep, what's beep, the beep, thingy? Beep. Is it the 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 the, the fights? The, the lotto thingy. No, they don't have lotto with her. The the, the thing. Fights! <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck do you call the thing? The one armed bandit. Is that what it's called? Yeah, the slot machine. Slot machine, not the fucking It's like, why did they say lotto? Yep, back in the madhouse, sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, fucking hell, Matt Connors is just right out of the oh, gate there. Oh, oh, oh weapon, ah, weapon, ah, lovely. lovely. Great to see Yeti back. It is. I absolutely love Yeti. I love his mantra, don't be a dick. And I like this new compact model Yeti. <laughs> they've brought back this year. Small wheels, you know, it's, big it's wheels. A bit I mean, like this fight in particular, it gave me wild flashbacks to Yeti's yeah, fight with Bite Force. Oh, 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 oh. oh, drum's dead. Fucking hell. Oh, wait, no, it's one of the belts have gone on me. Oh, great. Mad Catter, very similar design. They're a machine I really, really rate. I love the team as well. I yeah. love Martin Mason. But with Yeti, you know, like, I, I like the redesign. I like the forks can do that Swiss Army knife thing and tuck back that's, into the robot. That's clever. It's really, really cool. But I just think Mad Catter wildly outclassed them. Let's be real, like, Mad Catter last season was an absolute unit, and then I knew for a fact is all they had to do was just a few little tweaks, and now they're just a powerhouse. Would you say they've done them? Yes. Yeah, I would yes, agree. Big like, time. The the new thick chunky wedges on on either side of the weapon. Uh, their speed is phenomenal. They are drove them in the opening seconds of this fight because with spinners you want enough time to get the, the weapons up. Yeah. So I love that Mad Catters drove around behind Yeti and in order to get enough time to get the weapon up and they were just on them. They knew exactly what they were targeting, the belts for the drum, mm-hmm. and succeeded in taking one of those out within the first seconds. Like, fifteen seconds, seconds of the fight. Man, like- in the beetle weight division, like he is an absolute unit. See the way that he he like the way Mark Hatter just drove out there. His whole thing is straight at them. There's yeah. no fear in it. It's like straight at them. Turn to the side. Keep hitting. Keep hitting. And this was just if you could see one of his fights with this beetle weight, and then just had the, this fight and mirror the to, to yeah, just like in it's picture just in picture precision, precision. Every move he did. Like the one thing that he always tries to go for is weapon belts. Yeah, he keeps he, if, as long as he can snipe a weapon belt, and then the the balls in his court, and this and was just textbook. He was able to do it, and it worked beautifully in his favor because after that there were a lot of weapon to weapon hits, which Yeti came off looking like a bitch. Oh no 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 no, no, no. that was a bad. That's a bad. Touch. I was going to say like Yeti's really not coming off too strong here when they go weapon to weapon. Whenever the two of them collided together, Mad Carter didn't even move. It was like a brick. Yeah. It just stayed there. Yeti was getting yeeted. Like, I will say one thing, I really love the, the uh, wedge design that they had with Mad Catter. Like, yes, it's hinged, but the fact is that when Yeti hit it, it wasn't hitting the robot, it was, it was kind of like 
punt him itself upwards. Yeah. And then Mad Cat just slightly towards it where literally the weapon come down on top of it. Just, yeah, it no, was, it has to just touch it. This was just perfect. And the artwork was fantastic on, on Mad Cat. Oh, like, for, like, for sure, yeah. Like, I was sitting going like, okay, this is uh, what, what crazy artwork will they have this time, but damn, man. I mean, it just, it, it reaches a fever pitch, doesn't it, whenever, like, they land that hit on the wheel and they just oh. send it spiraling. That was whenever I got flashbacks to the Bite Force fight. This is the moment when you just put the controller down and, t- and go... I'm going to tap out because yeah. it's early in, the, as you said before, it's Very early in, in the the season. Mm. No, dis, no disgrace in it. No, I do get it that you know you put a lot of work and money in it, and, and you've built it for this purpose, for it to be destroyed or it to destroy something else. But if your weapon's gone, your your forks are gone, you yeah. have no defenses. You, you know you're not coming back. From yeah, this, so just. It's so, sometimes it's okay to take the L. Yeah, just take there's the L. There's another fight coming up in this episode because where I would say the same thing. <laughs> I guess he had switch, come on. I ripped his switch off. Father, avenge me. <laughs> <laughs> Holy oh. shit, father. <laughs> After seeing Mad Cat rip the back panel off, and you can see the internals. Yeah. Fur dudes and Mad Cat the backed off. They went, we're done. We've, we've, showed, we've showed ourselves. That's that's fine. Yeah, but he kept moving. That's a lot of damage to repair. We should yeah. have stopped. I get it. I know you know the teams do that, but for, as an audience, as a fan and an audience member looking at this, I would have just went, controller down. I'm done. Yeah, you because know? Like, you have to look at it as well in terms of entertainment, don't you? Mm. Where once that big hit happened, and we saw that Yeti, like the, the wheels were buggered, and it was just like slowly crippling itself within its own turning circle. Yeah. You knew that was it. It was lights out, game over. Why keep it going? Like, there's there's nothing you can do. Like, Yeti could not recover from that. That's a knockout. <laughs> <laughs> Kalima rips a heart out and sick. <laughs> For the most part, this was a great fight. It was more of an exhibition to go, hey, Mad Catter's back, and it is fucking pissed, bro. Yeah. Just nuclear explosion. <laughs> 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 Mad Cutter! <laughs> Not even words, just yeah. rah, rah, rah. Mad Cutter, me! <laughs> <laughs> Don't let the, the, the team fool you. Don't let Martin Mason fool you. Mm. That is an exceptionally talented bunch of engineers oh, in that group. Yeah. And they have been just overhauling this machine since They've the learned season. everything. Like, I, 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 yeah. I can't fault them. There's nothing I can turn and go, you need to change that. Need to change. This was just. Precision perfection yeah. coming out the door. Theatricality and deception are powerful agents to the uninitiated, but we are initiated, aren't we, Mason? Hard clip. Next fight! <laughs> we have got a lot of repairing to do. Don't be a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Eat your vitamins. I, oh I, no! I, oh no! Okay. It's okay. cheering him up, but like he's got good drive to be fair. Yeah, and he's not putting the claw down, he's been smart. I, I think he's, yeah, he's trying to stay away from the desk. <sighs> Always nice to see complete control back. What? Ma? No. Was that not complete control? <laughs> <laughs> what, Westless? Oh, fuck, you, you could have fooled me. Yeah, so this is what happens uh, whenever a brotherly rivalry is not kept in check. Yeah, I think they were in the garage and they, they had a little tiff and yeah. then uh, they split apart and. Yeah, okay, the fuckery aside. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's nice to see the Vasquez brothers split up and do their own thing because with Matty Vasquez, of course, everyone's all over him about, oh, you're way flash, you're great. You know, um, so it's nice to see the other brothers step out of the shadows a little bit and go, well, fine, I built my own robot. I, was, uh, I don't know why the Cockney Londoners, they're supposed to be from America. Oh, da, da, don't do it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. nasty. It's tough because he's coming from a team that has a lot of pedigree and experience, reached the, the, the second place in last year's tournament. It's a wonderful machine, is Whiplash. So I, I know a lot of people are going to be looking at it and judging Defender based on Whiplash, but no, it's, a, that, it's no. a new machine. No. It's, it's, it's another team member going out and starting up on their own. You know, it's, it's, uh, when, when, when teams break up, you know, and this is the, this is the result. My guy, I want to I be, be honest with you. I know you've watched this, right? Great, love control bots. They're my thing. I love it. But six fucking controls <laughs> with one controller, dude. It's like so. Yeah, let's break it down. Defender has a little lifty loo where it lifts up and raises. Yeah. Goes hello. I like that though. I like that the, the body lifts. That's good. I like that, and I like the BBC Two grabby cloth. Oh, thing, the little right? cloth, yeah. I, I like that, right? What's and the flamethrower, right? Flamethrower, yeah. So that's three. Yeah. Well, you have to uh, remember, like, you have to have an up part. And a down uh, uh, part for both. 
Why? You're complicated. Are they in a flame on, flame off? Like, I get so it. That, so that's it, six. It's, 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 oh, no, and that plus the drive as well. Right? Pretty not, like, have, like we did with push eggs, and have like one wire and, and someone presses the button. Or you just have a little foot pedal. A foot pedal. <laughs> foot pedal, yeah! Yeah. That's, that's happening in classic battle bots. Yeah. I, I don't understand. <laughs> if I had a controller and it goes, okay, this is the controller, I mean, okay, so it goes up and down, yep, and right to left, and then all these other buttons are to control the other parts of the weapons. What the fuck, what? Yeah, where do I go? What, what's well, uh, happening here? And this is what happened. We, what we've seen, like... Yeah, Robot shoot the crap out of their, their little wedges at the start of the fight. Yeah. They're, they're decently sized wedges. Yeah, not not, not long well. boys. It's so, it's uh, just and just ripped them to bits. So I, I take it because it's got so much shit going on in, inside it, the weight limit really has been a struggle. Yeah. So like they can't really reinforce the forks or anything like that. The claw doesn't look like it really does much. Like I know it's it's there to grab and hold, but it just it looks a little bit weighty, you know, a little bit. Weighty. I think the claw would have been more in play, but the fact because if Ribot was angled just yes, yeah, he brought the claw down and just rip bang. it off. Yeah. Uh, having said that, though, it's definitely got the whiplash drive. Yes, it has a bit much drive, and, and fair to him, he did pin it into the deck, and he was doing his he was doing his thing. And then, unfortunately, he couldn't do nothing, so he had to back yeah. off. And like, then I noticed like, the, the flamethrower just did not work at all. I think that had one hit, that, that first initial hit, it just yeah. shocked the body. Of the, like, the flamethrower tried to and then stopped. It just puffed out. Or he panicked. Yeah, because you see it working again after yeah. they, they separate. But after that, just Ribot went to town on them. Yeah. No, please. Please. <laughs> it's like Palpatine and Mace Windu. Yeah. Don't do it. Whiplash, oh. help me! <laughs> oh. Yeah, what a sentence. <laughs> ah, it's fucking dead. It's quite a shame because you do have to have a very strong robot whenever you're going up against a machine like Ribot. Mm -hmm. And Ribot just unfortunately dominated them for the rest of the fight. Ribot doesn't look like much has gone on with them since the last season, aside from their lovely, sexy little sideways self writer. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm still concerned about those chains, though. I know this fight we didn't didn't see it, but like I'm waiting for those chains to pop off, and there's just robots sitting there going, "It's croaked." I, I can't. Yeah, <laughs> I can't jump anymore. Don't go for night arena. Don't be a cheeky bastard. You're not allowed to turn out here, Yeah, mate. he's like, mate, yeah, get, get fuck away. Get, just back off. Can, what the Yay! fuck? It's gonna be it's Seth Ryder. Seth Ryder, hello. Hello, I'm Froggo. <laughs> it's like what we always say. Like, I don't care if it, like someone's been on a team for donkey's years. I don't care if they're brand new to the sport. Uh, this is your bed and end series. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah. Like, lot, lots and lots of fuckery. Um, and we'll rip the deck out of you. For free. Yeah, we'll say that, but then Defender will kick the Christ out of Whiplash at one point, you know. Oh. Not not this season, you know, that's just silly. I hope but that. <laughs> I hope, I fucking hope that that gets clipped and then you're sitting going... <laughs> Vasquez well, versus Vasquez. Well, shit. <laughs> yeah. Who wins? The good one. <laughs> no. The parents. No. They no. win. They win. No, they don't. They do because they have a, a, a they have a son who's amazing and can drive a great robot and an absolute disgrace. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. This is a silly joke. He didn't think I, it was a silly <laughs> joke. <laughs> I like Defender. All right, it's got good, great potential there. You're not Defender, right? Like, <laughs> no, I'm not Defender at all. It's, it's called Defender. It should be able to defend itself. And it didn't. It was shit. And it lost. Next fight. <laughs> Do you know what? Fair enough, there's good strong drive to that fucking machine. Yeah. Yeah, okay. The little little gentleman's clap for you, sir. Good on you, good on Small gentleman's clap for the inferior Vasquez, brother. <laughs> this is going to end badly. I'm interested uh, in what is going on. You know, you just, you see a matchup between two fighty robots, and you just go, huh, I know exactly how this should play out. So, whenever I saw the, man, the draw for this, I saw hijinks. Hijinks, big, beefy undercutter. Mm -hmm. And I saw a mammoth, a climbing frame with an anteater's head that <laughs> rotates to 360 degrees and, and does the fucking Super Mario jump around with huge. I can't see that. I looked at that, and I just sort of went, ah, they're going to demolish the climbing frame. You know, because it'll just be hijinks, just sweeping around underneath it, undercutting the shit out of it, you know, and, and that'll be that. I uh, did not see this coming. 
I had the opposite. Yes, you did. I, I had, a, had a, as soon as I was like, they've got those long twanger thingies. Bollocks. Twang, 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 twang. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's <laughs> all you have. Stop the spinner. Twang, 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 twang. It's an undercutter. It's going to stop it. But stop not, it not just that. Perfectly slotted. It was like like I made the joke during the uh, during the, the, the live reaction. reaction to it or whatever to, to coin a Mr. Psycho phrase. It was like watching two of the the morphers from Power Rangers try and like connect <laughs> together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that is weird how perfect yeah. it is that hijinks just slots into Mammoth. Everything about this, I was like, as soon as that moment happened when the gut, when the he, the nice capping motion, it was like, oh bollocks, like like <laughs> like, like yes. that's, that's fuck, and then. They do they have that little breathing space and hijinks is right, spin that fucker up me, <laughs> no, no. And then next minute, twang. Oh, oh lovely! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh fuck shit! Well, Take the fucking uh, wheel off! Uh, 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 so it's helicopter now. Hi. That, that meme, helicopter, it's helicopter. helicopter. Oh. <laughs> See, it's great because Mammoth has that follow-up attack. Yeah. It's not just like, you know, like an axe comes over and comes back again. I love that it's full 360 attack. Yeah. And yeah, it may not be damaging, but it's great in terms of control because, like, like you know, like you, you say you have a flipper. Mm. When you flip a machine up, and as it's coming back down again, your flipper resets, so it hits the floor and you come in and flip again. What I love with Mammoth is whenever it half of the weapon yeets a machine up, as it's coming down, the other half is spinning around, so it only has 180 degrees of motion to go through. So it'll just go boom and yeah, send it like, flying. And I loved seeing that, especially in slow motion with hijinks. I thought that was great. I, I do like. I think the the upgrade for Mammoth was brilliant. Is having two motors on either side this yeah, time. Yeah, for sure. So if a chain, lot more power. Chain, chain dies, you still have have it. But like yeah. the power of that, just to go, dink. And then yeah. it all it all just goes, you know, uh, hijinks turns into a helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> it turns into the meme. <laughs> and then it's like, oh, can you can you turn a wee bit? Lap. The way it just pops yeah. off. My I'm done. I'm, my, I'm, I'm, my, I'm, I'm, I'm knackered. Look, mate, I've already got my coat on. Yeah, I'm going out the door. There's a pint getting warm down at the bar. <laughs> I've got to go. <laughs> I can feel that the, the top of the head this just This still away. going. <laughs> <laughs> We'll talk about it at the end of the video as well, but like that little section, the little segment where they're like, you had some of the veteran teams talking about some of the new blood mm. coming in for this tournament. I love what, I think it was Mammoth or Hughes that said it, where, yeah, right now the, the, the sort of the mode, the modal is four wheel drive verts. Yeah. But then something will come along and turn that on its head, and suddenly everyone will be able to beat four wheel drive verts. And then mm. everyone will start copying whatever this thing is. So I like that they're encouraging teams to, to think outside the box and, and do things like Huge and Mammoth where you're building something that doesn't necessarily look or fit the description of what a fighting robot would normally be. Yeah, like, like, on, like if, you, if you literally took a picture of this and get, showed it to somebody who was only starting out in robot combat, they'll look at that and go, ha, that's not yeah. a robot. It's not a boxy thing with wheels and a weapon yeah, because, welded onto it. Yeah, and that's why I like about it. I love th that's why, and, and you're absolutely right, and I do hope this does give a whole new wave of wacky crazy shit because yeah. we'll be looking at going like okay that's that, that's what I want I want a thing that looks least likely to take out the likes of Sawblaze or or Endgame or whoever hmm. like <clears throat> that I want it to be the least likely looking machine to do it yeah like I want to go into a fight where Endgame is going to lose and I want to be watching it go well this is another easy win for Endgame like, yeah. what the hell is this thing? It's a climbing frame with a face. <laughs> yeah, and it ends up just eating it out of the arena. You're like, oh, like, okay. I mean, like, in terms of damage, Mammoth didn't even take that much. It was just, like, one of those little hooks on the end of the, the phalange. And I it think they, re they did it themselves. Yeah. So it wasn't, you know, it wasn't any damage that hijinks done to it. Yeah, you know? I, like, I, and I also, I like that they've kind of learned with the weapon itself to have it made out of HDPE. Yeah, because it just flexes back to... Yeah, because I even say, like, you don't notice it because it's happening that fast in, in real time. But when you see the slow motion fight, you see it just bending and warping, mm. but it just, it's so flexible and yet rigid because it just retains its shape so quickly. Which I think that's, uh, they've really and combed in a perfect And weapon. it's reinforced as well because you have the, the two side sections like coming and flexing together and bolted together in the middle. Uh, because like when Mammoth first started it was just that, that kind of square like real rectangular bar. Big metal steel. Yeah and it kept too. snapping and mm. breaking so like it, it's it's great to see that throughout 
through desperation comes innovation. Yeah. And they've they've went back, they've refined it for this series, and I'm really looking forward to seeing more from Mammoth. Yeah, I, I have to say, like, a, a God help any vertical spinners or anything comes against it because it's gonna just destroy them. It's gonna. Yeah. Ups- I have a feeling it's gonna upset a lot. Like, there's gonna be a lot of upsets with Mammoth. I hope so. I hope so because I th- I think they deserve it. Like they've they've clearly put thought into it. They put work into it. And they've definitely come into this going, we don't want another boxy wheel robot no, with no. a weapon cell tape to it. Yeah. That's fucking insane. Get <laughs> this out <laughs> the <laughs> fuck! Me! <laughs> 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 nom nom, scope yeah. is. Yep, nom 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 nom. Oh, he's doing the tombstone. I don't need that. See, that's it. Uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? Fuck! <laughs> again, what do you say? Because again, looking at this matchup, I genuinely didn't know what to expect. Like, I, I think I got what I was looking for in the first minute or so, where you knew, like, where reality was the same as as our normal reality, for as normal as it can be. Mm-hmm. Where cracking, like, the tactic was box rush at rotator, bring the claw down, stop the weapon spinning up. And they did. Eventually they did. Yeah. Rotator, I like the look of that disc because it was a nice, full, heavy, thick blade. I am a doubts man, because from the look of it, maybe it's just the way the camera angle was, but I was like, that's very thin. I was waiting for the, t- the, the tooth to break that's, and it's just wobbling. I think that's their slicer blade. It's not like a tombstone bar, you know, where it's supposed to like knock yeah. divots in and, and cause like actual percussive damage to, to machines. Like this one is without a doubt, like it's supposed to slice into other robots. And that's clearly what happened with Kraken. Uh, cut their fuel line for the, the flamethrower very early on. Uh, oh, 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 nasty, 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 nasty. I managed to get him. Oh, shit. Oh, is that the flamethrower yeah. completely fucked? Is it? Oh no, you're burning your robot, man. Turn it off, turn it off. I think their igniter went and just... (laughs) I think... Turned into Mohawk. I think, yeah, (laughs) a classic person of Mohawk. I think realistically it's happened, this has happened again to Kraken, that there's a little nozzle where where the flame thing is, and when when Rotator hit that, he's pushed the entire nozzle back into the robot. Not with the way that 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 fireball went. That that's clearly from gas that's being expended into the, 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 the into thing, the upper yeah. head. So that happened. That was a thing. And Kraken kept moving. Yes. And Kraken was able to get Rotator into its jaws. And okay, fur to the battle bot. I don't know if it was the editor who decided this, or it was Greg and Trey, or whoever. But my hat is a hundred percent off to you because you didn't treat us like fucking idiots. At least they're actually showing this yeah, as opposed not- to like awkwardly cutting around it. Yeah. Let's get the crowbar and last for two hours trying to release it. No. You actually showed they got stuck together. They couldn't unstick. And you you didn't just do an awkward cut where it's like, oh, they've, they've disentangled the it fight took two hours to, do, to get rid of them. And they actually showed it. And I thought that was great. I thought it did wonders for the, the dramatic flair of the show, for the pacing of the show, because it's around the fourth fight that we have the commercial break. Mm-hmm. And that didn't happen, and I went, oh, okay. Something's happened. And then this happened, and you get to go to a commercial break on a bit of drama. I was wondering, because like, they always do that, you know, in the fourth fight, where like, they build it up, and it's like, when BattleBots returns, you're like, fuck no. So it's just going like, there's bound to be some fuckery here yeah. for them to go to an ad break. So I love that. I thought that was a really good, really clever choice for the show. I t- also, I uh, you know, like, have to admit, like, it's good to see Trey just like, oh, it's on fire. Boss, boss mode. Shh, crowbar. <laughs> bah, yeah. There's your robots going to your thing. Like I think that's maybe what's contributed to the fact that when the fight does restart, the first thing that happens is Rotator knocks all of Kraken's teeth out. Yeah, he's just gonna fucking rip him in half here. Oh, oh, oh the job, my on. god. That was insane. <laughs> that was insane. Like in the first second, all you see is like, you hear a big twang, off it goes. Never see those teeth again. No. Holy shit, he just ripped the entire fucking jaw section off. That is And he's killed bar. Narwhal as well. Fucking hell. There's just, there's just teddy bear guts everywhere now. <laughs> okay, so, so Kraken still has the clampy. It, it, it has no teeth, but it can yeah. do like a little, like, you know, I, I'll clamp, but no, nothing. It's, ha- not, it's not jaws, it's guns. <laughs> <laughs> 
like you're sitting there going, okay, like uh, what's their defense now? Their defense literally was their wedge. Their like I do like the fact that they they've done that little horizontally type triangle. Yeah, wedge. that's that's to, it, to get. Um, undercutters and uh, just horizontals in general just to, to bounce up them and into the jaw and it worked and it was doing well and then uh, who exploded uh, a, a badness happened you want it oh! Oh! oh there goes the fucking CO2 big bada boom still kept going took a wheel off them still kept going destroyed little narwhal <laughs> See, I, I love that it's plush it's not a little plastic thing. Yeah. Because you just see that Teddy Bear guts everywhere. <laughs> Teddy like, Bear guts. It, it just in confetti, you know, it's like, I was like, okay, that's, that's amazing. Well, I mean, Rotator has a lot of damage, like, but... Yeah. Fire Fox, you built a really Three good robot Three fucking with minutes. Having to stop because he's got stuck together. You got your fucking jaw ripped apart. Mm -hmm. Your robot exploded. Uh, and, he was, and your wheel was ripped off, and he still kept going. I have to give it a cra the crack. And man, you know how to build one hell of a robot that just refuses to die. I was expecting like rotator to decapitate the head. Like there's like a moment yeah. where you're going, okay, the head's going to come off now. Wheels are coming off. Everything. I think with off. consistent focal attacks, yeah, that was probably going to happen. Mm. But it's the fact that cracking, even with a wheel missing, was just like, no, nope. no, nope, not going to let you hit, no. Nope. I'm over here now. <laughs> Think again, yep. fucko. It's just the fact that a robot can take that level of damage and still go to the judges. Yeah, man. Like, 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 like I even I said it during the reaction, but yeah, it's clear Rotator's going to get the W on that one. But for me, the moral victory here goes to the Kraken team because holy shit, Matt Spurk builds machines that will not die. No, they don't, and they and they always go in a spectacular way. It's never yeah. just that. Oh, it's dead. Yeah. There's always something cool about it. Yeah, it's great. Anyway, Victor Soto himself, uh, first win on a judge's decision uh, in his first uh, battle. Is it? Cause, yeah, because remember the whole bullshittery of beta? Oh, he's still salty about that, yes. Everyone's still salty about that. I think it's just because we're from the UK. It's it's just like, uh, who gives a fuck? Hey, you got your you got it. Yeah, the you one got your win. Beta wasn't great. in this season. It yeah. was in the crate. And, and you also actually, like, you know, we're, we're aggressive and cause damage and stuff. And therefore... Uh, it was pretty obvious we were going to win the judge's decision. Tennis confetti, like gold confetti, will just pop it all over the place. You will not. This is my fucking home. I have to live here. Oh, you got a vacuum cleaner. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, you took that it's apart. It's like think about the wife. Oh, you that little bit of sexist misogyny. Oh, Let's move on to the next yes. fight. Swiftly on. <laughs> hey, no matter what they say, yeah, Kraken's the moral victory like that. Yeah. That was insane. Yeah, me? Yeah, me? Rotator! Ah, uh, that'll keep Hexbug happy. <coughs> More sales for them of my machine. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we'll get a new configuration. Denied. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Sorry to the people that are watching this reaction, but I was promised a new Rusty. Fuck this. I was fed lies. Yeah, this is bullshit disguised as lies is the quote that you were creating. Yes, bullshit <laughs> disguised as lies. And let the fuck rick, man. Okay, I know that Blip is made by the same team that brought us Tantrum. Mm -hmm. It's a little brick shit house in and of itself. But I, I love whenever teams try and do something different. Yeah, so I, the, I, the box. Like, I love flippers. Don't get me wrong, but they always have that trouble where it's like, oh well, it's powered by gas, or in Jake from Hydra's thing, and yes, we're magics. tickling your balls once again, Jake. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's it's uh, powered by uh, hydraulics. So I like whatever teams sort of look at a at a design for a weapon that's been done to death by now, and they go, okay, what can we do that's different about it? And I really like the unique approach that they took with Blip. Yeah, like like a brushless motor that literally pulls the the rope and and then it clamps down and holds it in place. Yeah, like that's like this, this is so effective. I was not expecting Blip to be this powerful. I, I I'll say one thing too, like like the engineering that went into this, like you're you're like the, we've got another mad scientist, and yeah, that, now now I want the fight. I want the Hydra. <laughs> and I want to think because the yeah. the, there was a thing online where he, the the guy from Blip was boasting. And he was like, oh, "I can flip higher than Hydra." And then so Jake came in and went, "Prove it!" Really? 
I thought money on that. <laughs> yeah, it's certainly an interesting take on a flipper. Like, let me tell you that much. Like, not you want just, to, please. <laughs> not just in terms of its setup, but also in in what the flipping arm is now. For me, I'm an old school fan of fighty robots. Whenever I think of flipper, I think a panel that's Scrape just the scraping ground. the floor. Your Apollos, for example, or mm -hmm. like uh, going back to the classic robot wars days, Chaos Twos, where it's just a panel scrapes the floor and underneath the robot, and the entire thing flips. With Blip, I like the bumper on the front of it. Mm -hmm. I thought that was part of the flipper. But it's not, it's just this little panel at the top that, that flips up. So you have to get a robot all the way up that. And I thought, oh, that's, that's a little bit awkward. And then in this fight, it worked. Yeah. I say fight. I mean, let's show off how powerful Blip's flipper is against a heavily damaged and outclassed version of Rusty. Oh! Jesus! Look! That's not a thing. It's self righted I did a flippy. It's good. I don't know. There must have been some sort of production plan or something in this because from all the pictures that I've seen online, there's a baby Rusty, like a small smooshed one that looks you know, really defined and looks class. Yeah, it looks great. And that's what we were hoping, I was expecting. And then when... When the, this one showed the up. fight car, it was not even it, as soon as seeing the fight car, yeah. it's like, like either the editor has been very lazy and went, I'll ah, just keep that picture and you know, fuck it. But I was like, no, 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 no. You, you, I know Greg and Trey would be literally battering the shit out of them going, but, this is it. I mean, this is clearly the Rusty from last season. Yeah, there's it's still got, damage from it. It's still got it. the damage from the beta fight on top of it, it's still got the scars on it from Sawblaze, the tracks are all ripped and mashed to shit. So I'm thinking either they're, they're doing something fuckery. Where they're I, like, oh, Rusty's dead, but it is new, sexy Rusty. Or he's brought new, sexy Rusty, and something's gone horribly wrong. It's, uh, it's overweight, or, or the, the batteries have died, or there's massive electronic failure, or something like that. And he's been like, I have the pieces of the old one in a bag. Do you want me to fight with that one? I think they're playing up to the memes. I think they're playing up to the Rusty's oh. dead, and then blah, 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 blah. Oh, they definitely played up to the memes with this fight. Yeah. Because last season, no one would shut the fuck up about <laughs> Rusty. Like, it was, like, it was so cute, it's just what... Yeah, great, that's fine. But then, this year, Blip came along and stole his thunder. Because like, it's even smaller and cute as with the line. <laughs> yeah, so naturally the first fight that the two of them are going to be in the season is going to be up against each other. The two uh, gods who yeah. will be the one ruler. But uh, it wasn't, it wasn't. Because it was literally just, uh, like, yeah, I'm impressed by Blip. I love that it has so much power in it. That first flip had me going, wow, yeah, that's yeah. amazing. But it wasn't a fight. It was literally just... That's Yeet them into so the corner, off. keep yeeting them, take that already mashed top panel off it, it's dead, count it out, the end. Do we spin at the end? Yeah, bye. Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, this was not really much to talk about, it was literally just, wow, Blip's a really good, impressive new design, it's got a great flipper on it. Rusty be rusty. Pretty much. That's pretty, that's pretty much it. Yeah, no, nah, that's not happening, mate. Yeah, South Riders, bro. That's not happening. Yeah, it's fucked. That's not happening. Uh, oh, yes. Jesus. I like Rusty, and, and like I said it last season as well, Like it's great whenever someone builds a robot out of just sheer, oh, there's parts lying around, let's see what I can make with it. I love the creativity angle of it. Mm -hmm. That it doesn't have to be CNC'd and milled and have thousands of pounds or thousands of dollars put into it. it together. Yeah, they built it in a cave from a box of scraps. And, and I love that mentality. And I love that that's something that BattleBots in 2022 is still promoting. Yeah. That's really great. But it's just the fact that this, this there's excited. something wrong here. Something really, really wrong here. Where we saw that new rusty design, and it's just not in this episode. He's still in it. He's still in it. Oh, light's starting to flicker. Oh, <laughs> fucking double team! <laughs> That's the top panel. Is, is he? Is he going? What's left of the top panel's gone. Nah, he's he's. he's yeah, that's that. The new one looks class. I'm actually. It looks really like the, it looks like a Funko Pop version of itself. Yeah, and the best <laughs> part is it, it reminds me. It looks like that like exterminator type or chomp type yeah. axe thing. I'm like. Oh, okay, I, I'll dig this. I like this. I was really looking forward to this. Okay, that's Rusty Mark Two. What, what the fuck? Yeah, we're, we're still Mark One. What's happened? Yeah, to be to be some sort of like time skippy or something. You or be playing with last year's model, bro. Oh, what's that all about? Where'd you learn that one from? Leave it in the comments section. Where did I learn what from? You burn too much too much TikTok, man. Bum 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 bum. <laughs>
bum, bum, bum. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Not on TikTok. Next fight. <laughs> I'm still here. Oh, fuck. Papa. Help me. Papa no love you anymore. I was your favorite child. Not now. <laughs> Hammer the shit out of him. Fact is. Oh. oh, straight on head to head there. Another fight that was, okay, for the most part, it was a fight. Yeah. And then it just stopped being a fight. Yeah. I really love Tantrum. Mm -hmm. I think they're a great design. I think they'd be a perfect choice for the next Hexbug. I because, hope. That would be nice. Because they have that, that two weapon configuration on Hexbugs, where they can have the arm come over and the spinner work. I think Tantrum fits perfectly for that, where like the arm can come forward and back, and that it's got the little spinner cool. on it yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think it would make, it's, it's very toyetic. Yeah. I think it would make a really great toy. Uh, it makes an even better robot, because it's small, it's chunky, it's well designed. Uh, it did so well last year, and it looks to be still as aggressive and as brutal as ever this series. They've learned a hell of a lot too. They've learned a little bit from Saw Blazers. They've got little 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 covers, yeah, covers yeah, at the, the top. top. It's a genuinely brilliant design. I really love it. Malice again is another machine that I really rate. They mm -hmm. really impressed me last season. I was I was thinking they would come back with something of a redesign this series, but it seems to be the same chassis again. But they've got a little bunny tail in the back, so it doesn't do that standy uppy thing, which was kind of annoying. And then a new weapon that... Uh, yeah, that uh, Black Death or something. I think it was Black Death. It was yeah. called. Uh, I'm not sure what it was, but uh, yeah, like a nice big thick heavy uh, uh, plastic bar. Yeah, like it looked really, really good, so it did. And yeah, but th this is a fight that was just... It was over before it started, really. Yeah. It was the first... It was the initial hit. Is the weapon gone on Malice? Or she just... I don't think she can spin it up. Or she's waiting to get the fuck out. Oh, no, no, she, she cannot spin it up. Because the way Malice was, was thrown into the corner, like, oh, they spun down so they get away, they get into the middle and That's spin up. That's what I thought too. And then nothing. But in that, like, in that big hit, I think also the LAM motor has sparked because, okay, they've, they've hit the weapon, weapon on weapon. But there was arcing from the back end, and that's where it's Malice's weapon motor. I could be talking absolute shite. But yeah, we usually do. But... That's what I thought it was like. Oh, that that massive hit has been ruptured right through the body of the of the robot and just arc something. Something has fallen into it, or something shook loose and it's just died. That tantrum spinner is like a fucking demonic. This series as well. Tantrums just keeps on going and going, and and, and the best part is it pins it perfectly. Like these these perfect little yeah, spikes. high centers it and gets it stuck. And that's it. Yeah, it's over, man. Dead. It's over. Dead. She's like, it's just high centered there. Yeah. It drives off right to the middle of the arena, right to the logo, where you think, oh, it's going to do a little victory spin, and that's it. And yeah. The referee has to come in, do 10 it, count, two count, job's done, it's over. But for some reason, he comes back on the attack. What? Well, oh. Yeah. Oh, gentlemen, okay, I'll be a gentleman. Well, fair enough. Malice can't do anything, because it, what's very interesting about these two machines is that they represent opposite sides of the spectrum when it comes to how you design and build a robot. Mm. With Tantrum, it's clear that the chassis design came first. Yeah. And they thought, okay, well, here's an interesting take on a spinner, a little drum, on a reel. Mm -hmm. And it works perfectly. And they, they kept redesigning it and redesigning it, and this is where we got. With Malice, they are quite a new design. They're quite a new team. And I think they haven't had time to really go off and go, okay, well, how do we perfect this? How do we change this? Beyond adding the bunny tail on the back of it. Malice is a robot where the weapon came first and the chassis was designed around it. Mm -hmm. Now, what that means is whenever Tantrum loses its weapon, it's still got that great design that scrapes the floor. So it can still push around. As you say, it's got the little cup sections yeah. at the top now, so great for control. When Malice loses its weapon, it's got nothing to fall back on. Mm. So it doesn't have the, the ground clearance, uh, the, the, the low ground clearance, can't win the ground battle. Uh, it doesn't really have pushing power, it doesn't have anything you can fall back on really. Like I always thought like, if they were going to add like a bunny tail or something to the back of it, make that a little weapon. Even if it's like or a little forks. spike or, or forks or, or just something like that and then drive the robot in reverse. Mm. You know, if, if the weapon goes down. But it's so clear that once Malice loses that weapon, the game's over, they've lost. This is all just unnecessary damage. Yeah, the, like, but it's also completely superfluous too. Like, even as audience members, we're looking at this going, well, Tantrum's won it. Yeah. So, what's the fucking point? Maybe they should have went with Big Red for this one. 
I think maybe Big Red is, is better off saved for a robot where it can cause optimal damage. Mm. I think that's why they went with this. They didn't go for like purple pain or anything else. So like, okay, well, have a new weapon. Tantrum's a brick shit house. There's not much we, we can we do. We would here. probably shatter Big Red and have to spend hours welding and sanding it. And, and we're not the going through that again. again. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll we'll hold off on Big Red for now. Let's test out this new one. It's just the fact that they come back in, like Tantrum come back in on the attack, and something's telling me that there's something quite fishy about that. Like I think, like a producer or the referee or something has went. No, no, no. Fight's not over yet. Go back in. Attack more. We uh, want more footage of this fight. Yeah, I, uh, I would say it's more nerves on the new, t new driver where he's like, you know, I'm the new guy in the block. I don't want to have he that. He away. You won the fight. Like leave it be because like the worst thing is Manus can't do anything now. Mm. And we saw that because the rest of the fight it was literally just like he turned his own weapon off and it was just a pushing match. I just pushed Manus around. Yeah. Easily dominated it. It was boring and I didn't like it. <laughs> yeah, like, like, but that's why I think I think it's either he didn't want to have that over his head going, oh, you know, you, you, I was still moving, I could have kept on going, I just needed a nudge. You know, the gentleman's agreement thing. <sighs> yeah. Or you could be right where a referee or, or, or someone's in his ear going, no, no, keep, keep going, we need more sparks and... and no, that we're all. We're, this is the first time we've been finally back. Like we've got the crowds back, we've got everything back. Yeah, we're in Vegas. That's make yeah. this spectacular. It could have been that. I just, I, I feel like there's something quite off there because, like, if if it's a win, it's a win, you know. Like, and I get it. BattleBots is not a sport. It's not a competition. Like it, it is on its surface, but it's primarily there for entertainment. Yeah. And you want to get as much usage and as much footage out of all these wonderful creations that you possibly can. But I feel like. We weren't denied anything here. No, like, no. It's not like Malice got stuck and we were like, oh no, we wanted to see more of Malice do this, this, and this. Weapon's gone. Yeah. And, and what Malice is, Malice is <clears throat> the T-Rex to Tantrum's Velociraptor. Hmm. The T-Rex is just a big mouth on legs. And that's what Malice is. It's big spinner on wheels. With Tantrum, it's a little smaller, it's a little more clever, it's a little more concise than what it can do. Beautifully dr dr driven, wonderful response time on that machine. It's just, it, it corners like it's on rails. And I just don't feel like whenever Malice got stuck there, I felt like that was, that's the end of the fight. Yeah. Well done to Tantrum, that's it. And everything after that was just completely superfluous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I agree, I agree. But like, as I said, I'm, I'm agreeing with you where there's something. Yeah. Something there. It's a fight that didn't have to go to the judges. No, it didn't you have know? to, it didn't have to. But uh, but yeah, but that's pretty. That's, that's it. That's still it. up, still love them both. Much still love, love them to both teams. Yep, yep, there you go. Love them both. <laughs> Next fight. Blip. Dun 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 dun. What's in? Wait, what the fuck? Actually, all your wins are my wins. Box ride. Yeah, right in the one. Oh, okay. No thanks. So if it were ever needed to be worked out, which is the superior Vasquez, brother? Oh, you're really which going is the you? superior superior Vasquez machine? I'm saying this like I'm better than them. I'm not. I'm fucking scum. <laughs> but um <laughs> but yeah, this this fight just really, really proves Manny Vasquez's talent. It proves that he's built what I consider to be a very boring looking box shaped robot. <laughs> But effective. it's an effective machine that he knows inside and out and it handles like a dream. And it's uh, this fight just absolutely 100% proves it. Bloodsport, again, a, a machine that I've loved ever since I first saw it, where it was shaped like a biscuit tin. I miss um, that. <laughs> yeah, where it, like, it took like half a year to get back onto its wheels again, whenever it was like rolling around like a symbol on the floor. Uh, and now they've just like they've stolen Bite Force's chassis. Let's you know. make it smooth. <laughs> yeah, uh, not a lot seems to have changed with Bloodsport from last season to this season. I no, I don't see very see. similar design, very similar uh, like uh, makeup. Same with Whiplash as well. Yeah, he's not yeah, letting he's him get around the sides of the bag. He's just gonna keep that scoop, break his weapon off his fucking face. I thought going into this Whiplash would go for the big anti-spinner wedge. Yeah, and, it's tried and tested. Yeah. yeah, and there's no point in having the disc on either because it would just get twatted. No, you know, no. Because when horizontal meets vert, bat. 
bad yeah. things happen. The driving is what won this here. Like, all due credit to Bloodsport, they were trying their best. They were. They and, definitely and were. They themselves have amazing amounts of talent whenever it comes to controlling that machine because it is brushless and you need to let it cool down, mm -hmm. otherwise it'll just overheat and your weapon's gone. Oh no. Now you're just sitting there you going, know, oh. So, immediately you can see the, 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 the classic bedded in tactics of someone with a, with a spinner going up against someone with the, the tactics of a ram bot and a flipper. Mm -hmm. Weplash goes for the box rush, Bloodsport avoids it to get the weapon up to speed, but Weplash has that nice strong thick bucket scoop on the front of it that can hold up mm -hmm. to, to the damage and they just kept the front of Whiplash straight at Bloodsport the entirety of the fight. That's what won it for them. Oh yeah, like, like I love the fact <clears> even <throat> when, when Bloodsport was trying to get away, like they're chasing them down, they're not giving them breathing space. Yeah, yeah there's a few times where the, the wedge that's got caught in the kill sauce and stuff like that, and you went, oh, there's the moment. Yeah. But he was like... But the recovery boom. speed. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like, just like, remarkable. Like, I, I do love those hinge forks because the one thing that people will think is, oh, it's a big giant scoop that did it. Those little forks were getting right underneath the wheels, yeah. so much so that it actually ripped one of the tires. One of the tires away, yeah. Yeah, it's it's literally as soon as the weapon spins yeah. down, he's he's going to oh, use there his goes Bloodsport's wheel. Is that the wheel? That's so the wheel. That's the, the forks. tire gone. There's Bloodsport in a different advantage now, which got three wheels, and it's struggling and struggling. And you could I could see the tactic where he was trying to get it up and flip it over but then sometimes he like he would like lift it up trying to get you know, retract it and get caught with um, like a clamping thing yeah you know and it worked in his favor and he and beautiful yeah beautiful moment where like the self rider just gets caught on the screws it like, perfectly right between it ah there we that's go it. That's it. there it is so they yeah. can't self ride I, I thought it was on top of it I thought it was below it, but it was actually just, just resting on top right. of it. Right, and I was like, oh, yeah. okay, that's impressive. Like, even when you, they got back and he was like, okay, they're, they're going to do it again. It's like, no. No, no, Whiplash were just all over no, them. Like, no, they like, that was the tactic right from the start, was to get them over. Because if they get them over without the weapon spinning, it doesn't have the power to kick itself back up into gear again and flip itself back over. Like we saw last week with Gigabyte. Hmm. Whenever Gigabyte flipped upside down, it can still spin the body and then the, the little arm kind of interferes with that on. and it kind of skips back onto its wheels again. Bloodsport can't do that without the weapon spinning first. No. You know, so it doesn't have the torque because it's brushless. Oh no. Oh, wish, wish. No. I don't back up again, Decker. Get your shit up there, you Get there. on the fucking stage. <laughs> it kind of just ran out of steam there kind of immediately. Um, Wetlash pushed them up onto the, the deck mm -hmm. uh, where it got stuck and you just see the team members going like, okay, well, count down the cooldown period and go okay, now. go. No, nope, yeah. still not enough torque. It wasn't going to win. He's and trying, there, there he's was trying. me just fucking saying too that didn't use the fucking upper deck much this episode. He's trying. Yeah, good luck. I'm waiting for smoke to pop, pop off and I wait and No, he's just going to get counted out. Two absolutely incredible machines. A lot of thought, a lot of work put into the tactics as well. Uh, there's a reason why this was the fight of the night, you know, yeah. like, the, like, and, and it really, they both proved themselves immensely. But uh, more importantly, Whiplash proved why they're, they're the number two in the competition. And he's the first to have a victory off the deck, being kind yeah, of yeah. So he's, he's, he's when the medal's all around. Well, we don't know if he gets a medal. Maybe a little, little chip. In, in theory, he gets a medal. Yes, yeah, so a pat on the back. That's, that's he, he here's your medal from the drop zone. It's nothing. It's a pat <laughs> on the back. <laughs> But yeah, and then in theory, we, we, we give you the, the hammer salute. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yay! <laughs> yay, I got meaningless things from deckheads on the internet. We Fucking beautiful, man. Nice one, Replash. Excellent. Yep, it's, it's the control game. Yeah. So that was BattleBots Season 6 Episode oh. The yeah. sequel. Um, yeah, I thought it was a good episode. Not as good as last week uh, in terms of the fights and the fight quality and that sort of thing. Uh, still loved it. Still loved all the robots, don't get me wrong. Uh, the little extra segments and stuff that were in it, again, really, really mm, loved those. Good, yeah. I really rate the, the, the experience teams talking about some of the newcomers and talking about some like new weapon designs and stuff that, that I like to see because God knows we have enough four-wheel drive verts, so please stop building them. Try something else. Try something that can take out four-wheel drive verts. 
Uh, the the Peter Abramson, the the bot whisperer, yes, a little bit like his little history, like oh hey, he built Ronan, check out Ronan back in the day. Go back and watch classic yeah, series. Yeah, it's a nice <laughs> mover with a sideways blade on it. it was yeah, great. yeah, yeah. It caused a lot of damage. Um, yeah, and uh, the, the little technical bits with Blip as well. They were really good. Really cool because like you, you run into this horrible catch twenty two where you can have like really entertaining but really silly, or you can have like really educational but really boring and. and and I like that they took the, the, the positives from both sides of that and just jammed them together. Yeah, because that was it, really good. It wasn't boring. It was, it was interesting and it was cool and I enjoyed it. Uh, in terms of the fights, you said something very interesting to me last week, or before we even started watching this episode, where you'd seen the fight card. Mm -hmm. And you said, uh, bad matchups. Do you still think that after this, after watching this episode? Whoever was the person who put this together, and I could be wrong, this could be randomised, it could have a computer that just goes boop, 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 names, and, and here's the list of stuff. But if this was a person, you kind of drop the ball on, on, on certain things because like even with the, the mammoth and the hijinks one immediately I could just predict it was like this is mammoth's fight yeah like before even watching the fight I was like this is mammoth's fight like so, see I would disagree on that point right okay because I thought eh, I, I, I thought hijinks was going to take that one so I was I was pleasantly shocked and surprised remember? yeah and fair enough yeah. maybe there's a lot of people out there are you know like the, the, like the, the rusty and blip fight I think was overkill that that was literally a publicity stunt and yeah. I'm, I'm saying that like it was literally just a hype up blip's weapon yeah because yeah. like if you think about it like we we've seen pictures of a new rusty okay there might be some technical gremlins or something but I think it's it's played up for the memes yeah, it, this was definitely. Oh, this up. was a hundred percent a fight for the memes. Even when it's doing the little test to go, like, uh, are your robot working? It's kind of like hobbling, hobbling, yeah. and you're like, this is sus. <laughs> yeah. Something's up, like you know. I mean, I was, I was certainly entertained by the fights, but I just I feel like a lot of them were one sided. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So yeah, and and especially that tantrum and malice fight that should have been that should have been stop. a card out. Yeah, because malice couldn't move, and tantrum was in the middle of the arena. Why did they come back? You know, like it just it, like I, yeah, it's good sportsmanship to keep uh, sportsmanship to keep the fight going and that, and that's fine, and I understand that. But it's just a you're early in the season. Just just take the loss, take the loss. Yeah, and keep just have less damage to work on. Like but. yeah, for sure. Um, so yeah, I think that, that's that's kind of about it. So our, our ratings for this episode. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's just in the middle. <laughs> Sorry, it was, it was good. It wasn't as good as it was last week, but it was still really good. But it would it, it would not be an episode of BattleBots that I would show to someone who I was trying to get interested in BattleBots. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just it's it's yeah, yeah. It's, it's nice. Yeah. It's fine. It's good. Liked it. Uh, yeah. So that's, that's, that's pretty much that's pretty much our it. thoughts. Um, I didn't get a chance to read the comments this week because of reasons, so no comment patrol zone. Uh, I'll read them after this is out and that sort of thing, but um, again, I, I really want to thank all the people that, that helped out, um, not just with the, what happened in my personal life, but, but also to the people who helped get the episode of the Drop Zone out, and even though it was incredibly late, and I want to thank every single one of you for your patience um, throughout that. and. It's, um, it's, this is the first kind of day where I've kind of felt normal again and I've got to do something that isn't to do with what happened. Um, I feel like a lot of love and a lot of joy and a lot of happiness has been taken and snatched, unfairly taken out of the world. And we're trying to put it back in again by, by being silly and insulting people. <laughs> and like, they, they, they I, give a shit back. <laughs> I came up with something for the person who uploaded last week's Drop Zone episode to add to the description, you know, for the, the playlists. And it was something like, uh, the, the works of genius is critiqued by drunken cretins. Ooh, and, well, uh, and I was kind of like, yeah, that, that's essentially what this is. It's not to be taken seriously. It's just no, a, don't, don't. It's a little bit of fun, silly nonsense, and, and we, we really genuinely do love this show. Uh, and we love the teams as well. So um, thank you all for watching, everyone. And we'll see you all next week. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.